It is time for butt pillow. Hello, my quarantined grains. This video is probably not going to age well, but for now, you're quarantined grains. That's what I'm gonna call you. My sister's judging me. I could see her glare. <laughs> I know she's doing this face and she's staring at me and I can feel it through my soul. Say hi, Sika. Yo. So today we're going to go through your packages because you love sending me craft kits and since I can't really buy them anymore, stores are closed, they're unnecessaries, I feel like that was the perfect time to continuously open your, your mail so I can have more material. Thank you so much. So the first package we're going to open has no name. It's a gray envelope. Do you say envelope or envelope? I say envelope, but I know a lot of people say envelope. Now, the interesting thing about this is that I know that it's from the UK, but there's no name. It's a little squishy. Feels like a mold, but I'm not sure. All right, so let's see what we got. And it is a mold. Is that a spaceship? Is that a salt shaker? Is that a salt shaker or a spaceship? Wait, it's a salt shaker. that is a salt shaker. Oh, I see it now. Oh my God, Wait, I can't look at this. see that. It's morning and I did not see it. It's Hang on, who is this from? For Salty Crafter, found on Etsy and knew you had to have it. From Beth, Minnesota. By the way, for those of you who don't know, I do wear glasses. So the fact that I can't see too well is Oh my god! Okay, so do, you can't blame me though because it does look like a spaceship on top and like rays, right? No. no I'm not asking you! But now, I know 100% this is a salt shaker. And don't forget, molds that are not transparent can only work with epoxy resins. So I definitely want to try this out. This is so cute. I'm not sure if I can turn it into a shaker mold, but that would be absolutely adorable. Thank you so much, Beth. <laughs> I don't have a salt shaker mold. This is my first one. And it comes with holographic bone glitter and some super sparkly white silvery glitter. Next package also from the UK, but no name. But now I know that the first one was directly sent from Etsy. So maybe this one is sent from somewhere else. Okay, I can see today's theme as, oh, salt shaker theme. I don't know why. I am really entertained by the shaking. I feel, and look, it has a hat. Oh, thank you so much. Hang on. I have the note, which is a slice of watermelon. Definitely one of my favorite fruits. It has a face! <laughs> so this is from Claudia, who is also a grain, but who absolutely loves to do more crochet and sewing, which is the opposite of me, because I feel like I can't, I just can't do crochet and sewing. And Claudia says that she has a hard time with clay, so we balance each other out. Claudia's Instagram is Claudia Stitches. So if you're looking for crafty people to follow, go ahead and do so. <laughs> I love it! It's gonna be in the background, you'll see it. Soon I'll probably have no space for craft kits and I'll just have space to put your stuff, which is definitely a bonus. I should maybe rearrange that. So thank you so much, Claudia. I promise I did not coordinate these. This next one is also from the UK, so UK grains. It's like you all collectively had this idea to send stuff in January. So thank you so much. Let's see what's inside. Oh. oh, is that poopsy slime? Hey. Oh, there we got it. <laughs> that is so weird. Okay, I've done poopsy slime slime before, but I had no idea that poopsy slime has a soap kit. No way. Where does a soap kit come from? Well, I, I know where it comes from. What I mean is, how did I never see this in North America? Well, at least in Quebec. Maybe because they didn't package it. All right, let's read the letter. And this letter is from Floss Gray, also known as Toasty Floss on YouTube, who is a Ravenclaw grain, just like me. Let me know what house you're in. Are you Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, or Slytherin? So this was a craft kit that was found discounted at a place called The Entertainer. Thank you so much for sending me the receipt. I love seeing that. And this was about three dollars and six, oh, three pounds, three and pen, 66 pences? I've never been to the UK, so forgive me. I have yet to go. I would, I technically was supposed to go this summer, but I think travel's kind of on the no-no for now, so. Once we're allowed to travel again, I have so many places I'd love to travel and so many places I would love to come and meet you grains. I love it when you grains modify stationery, bring the salt. You put a little frowny face on Molang and it says, I hope you don't get too salty, but I have a feeling this is going to bring just the right amount of salt, especially if it was discounted. More likely than not, it's probably going to be poop. 
Get it? Poopsie slime? But it's not slime, is it? Is it a slime soap? No. So why are they still calling it slime surprise? Why don't they just call it poopsie soap surprise? Marketing team, hire me. And now we have a cute letter with a Pikachu right in front. And this one is from New Brunswick here in Canada. Oh, <laughs> So the first thing that catches my attention, two absolutely adorable drawings. I love Salty Face. Let's do Saltiness Intensifies. I don't know why I'm so entertained by this. And then there's this beautiful drawing. This is very, very f much fantasy. I love fantasy things. And the letter is from Juliet. Even though it's from New Brunswick, wrote in French. That is really good. Good job, Juliet. So Juliet says that she found me through Mariah Elizabeth, and one of her favorite series is turning YouTubers into sculptures. So I hope you saw Friday's video for that. Watch it. And Juliet says that if ever I start doing your art into sculpture, this is a candidate. I haven't tried doing them since I think last year, but if I ever do restart, I have you grades as drawings as no inspiration to start back. So thank you so much, Juliet, and good job writing in French. And then we have a package from New York. Please make sure that you are staying safe. New York is pretty much the epicenter in the US right now. Stay indoors, stay safe as much as possible. So Rosemary, talking to you too. So Rosemary sent this here and the only thing I can see in the description is that it says stress ball and charm. All right, I have a letter. So this note and this package is from Rosemary, also Black Rose 13 It's funny because I feel like I know you grains more because of your handle and usernames on YouTube and social media than I do your real names. But now that I know your real names, they stick with me. So remember, when you meet me, tell me your usernames because I'll be like, I know you. And Rosemary's been on this channel and a grain since middle school and is now in college pursuing art. So thank you so much, Rosemary. When you grains say that my channel has helped you find your path or has helped you inspired, help inspired you. That's what I'm trying to say. Englishing. Wow. It really does put a huge smile in my, on my, um, in my face. English. It's a hard day. It's a hard day, which means videos are going to be very fun to record today. Right, Sika? Yep. <laughs> So it really does not just put a smile on my face, but it really makes my heart really warm. And also, Rosemary got into My Hero Academia because of me. I'm glad I'm spreading the word. If you haven't watched My Hero Academia yet and you're quarantined, now is the best time to do it. Get on Crunchyroll and watch My Hero Academia or any other free site that you want to just do it. That's your homework. Sensei Jackie said so. Okay, so the first thing here, shakes. Uh, why am I so entertained by things that shake? Let's find out together. It's so tiny. Oh no, <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, so it's a little shaking bottle with All Might, which is my favorite character. Here's what All Might looks like in the anime. So my Hero Academia, and it says, I am here and there's hearts. He is my favorite character of all time. This makes me so happy. All right, here it says, I guess, salty corn and surprise? Salty corn? Is that like salty crafter with a horn? <gasps> no! You modified a squishy with a salty corn! Oh my god! I love the colors. Usually we get like super bright colors for squishies, but you made this into a creature of darkness. That is cute. So cool. That is really cool. I love this. I love the salty corn. That's gonna go on my background too, so. That is really cool that it has glass eyes. I've never seen this before. Now I'm gonna probably end up being very distracted and squishing it. Sika, you wanna squish? Here you go. <laughs> Let, let us know. Did you put the eyes in there or is that the series that came with the eyes? I don't know. Let us know. It smells good. Does it? Let me sniff. It smells like, like a croissant. A croissant. <laughs> it smells nice. Thank you so much. I love my little salty corn. It's gonna go on the background. You'll see it too. Next letter, again from the UK, but no name. And I have the note and it has a cute little piglet. Why do piglets look so cute when they're little as opposed to the, when they're bigger? And this one is from Galaxy Wolf Gamer. It says, Dear Jackie and Angel. Jackie, salty human. Angel, salty chicken. You are one of my favorite YouTubers, followed by Mariah. A lot of people keep saying that they find me and Mariah on the same, at the same time, or at least from each other. So that's always good to know. I'm writing this while watching, oh, crafting a toy for my parrot. This is one of my favorite videos when I was just making things for Angel. So thank you so much for this cute little note. And I believe there's a drawing. Oh, 
something felt. Ooh, I have a ninja turtle cutout, which is going to be perfect as a bookmark. And a really cool comic drawing. I love how Angel always looks so angry in the drawings that you greens draw. <laughs> and here it says, give me walnuts, I am not a salty chicken. Which means, Galaxy Wolf, that I know that you've seen the Angel movie. Thank you so much. It's one of my favorite projects that I ever put together. And then we have a box from Texas. And the box is nicely decorated all the way in front. And it even says, happy late new year. Don't worry, these boxes take me about two to three months to open so if you send something please be patient by the way during this time please avoid sending anything don't lick any envelopes and send them over because I'm not going to open them for even a longer time since I have so many packages that I have yet to open and make sure that you do save your money these are very uncertain times and I want your grains to save your monies for more important things during this time. All right, let's open and see what we got. Oh, the note is already peeking. Wait, oh no. Eee. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so I was able to save it by actually cutting the tape and sticking it back onto the paper. So that way we're saving these letters. So there's a few questions here, but first I wanna know, okay, so this is from Jacqueline and some of the questions here ask, do you like Sailor Moon and who's your favorite Sailor Guardian? The answer is yes, I absolutely love Sailor Moon and my favorite guardian is Jupiter. I absolutely love Jupiter because I felt as I was growing up, I was a tomboy and she's the tomboy. So I felt like I could relate. If you do watch Sailor Moon, let me know who's your favorite guardian and why. Another question, are you doing it wrong? Probably. Because I mean, when I took out the letter, it started to tear. So something I did was wrong for some reason. How often does it snow in Canada? Because we do not get it in Texas. It does snow pretty often in the winter. I would say as of November until about end of March, we are pretty much at risk of getting snow all the time and quite a bit. Sika's nodding her head. Do you like snow? I hate snow. She hates, I love snow. The it's second stupid. Sn <laughs> well, here's an announcement for you grains that you didn't know. Snow is stupid. It's very stupid. I love snow. The second it's it snows, cold and it's wet. let me talk. It's cold and it's wet. You get your time to interrupt me. <laughs> Keep throwing a poo. Back. I know. This is a poo, by the way. She keeps throwing this poo at me. So yeah, it's for me, I absolutely love snow. The second it snows outside, I just get like this wide-eyed wonder and I go outside and I touch it. And if it's the snow that you can make, make a, a snowman, snowball. yeah, or a snowball out of, I kind of just lump it up and throw it at people. I just really love snow for some reason. Mind you, I am a winter solstice baby, December 21st. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. I'm a June baby. You're a June baby. <laughs> and Jacqueline sent this drawing. Jacqueline is 10, so hello, my little green. And thank you to your your parents or your guardians for letting you send stuff to me. So we have this over here. It really looks like it took quite a bit of time because I remember when I was 10 I could barely do stick figures and then I just learned to take my time to do drawings. All right there's something in here. I have no idea what it is but it's pretty heavy. I love the purple bag. Oh a bracelet! That is really cute. I loved doing bracelets. I still love really doing bracelets. I love the gradient on this. It's such a cool color. I'll have Sika help me put it on later. All right and what what do we get in here? There was no spoiler at all, so I have no idea what's in this package. And, oh, what is that? So we have a fish looking soap, and then we have green and black. I love these different kinds of soaps and colors. Here is green, a leaf. I wanted to say leaf, but I called it a green. And more blocks of black and green soap. Smell like soap. Kind of like Irish springy. That's nice. All right, this is really interesting. Jacqueline also sent me some supplies to make a mystery craft. So we have things like plastic fingers. I think this is a balloon. We have sugar. I'm not sure what this is. And a picture frame. And Jacqueline also says that I can use anything in addition, so paints, glues, and anything else. So it kind of reminds me of Bailey's series where her subscribers send her materials and she has to do an artwork with it, which I really enjoy watching. So this is really, really cute. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. I'll have to think up of a series like that. Next letter says, please open on camera from Addie and Elizabeth from, I believe, Iowa. IA, I think is Iowa in the US. I'm not very familiar with my state's initials yet. I'm Canadian, that's forgivable. 
And let's see what we have inside. Ooh, I have quite a bit of a note. Let's get to reading that first. So this letter is from Elizabeth, Addie, and their brother Wyatt, who's only five years old. They also have a YouTube channel called Wonder Kids TV, but they said not the Korean one. <laughs> and yes, they are from Iowa. They're also homeschooled. They have four dogs, two cats, a guinea pig, and three fish tanks. Fish tanks are always pretty hard for me to maintain because you really have to do clean them up at regularly. I was gonna say assi regularly. Well, my French side is coming out. And we have an artwork here of Salty Crafter. Salty Crafter is a mystery to us all. And then Addie and Wyatt also drew some things. Here's a drawing of my bird. Oh, he's always so angry. I love it. And here we have Saltiness Intensifies best kind of saltiness. So thank you so much for sending this letter. I absolutely love hearing from you grains, whether it's letters or packages. Just hearing from you and having something that is from you makes me feel that much closer. And this package is from Megan from New... NS? New... Yeah, it is Canadian! <laughs> I was like, what is NS as a state? New Hampshire is not an S. But yeah, it has a postal code. So this is from a fellow Canadian green. It's so. even a Canada Post uh, Oh yeah, envelope. it is a Canada Post. I didn't even notice. It is a Canada Post envelope. I am so tired this morning. <laughs> so I was up crafting until like 11 p.m. last night. Okay, and we're gonna put this in the recycling. Oh my God. Oh wow. Oh, that is so awesome. And there's a set. Oh, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh my, I have goosebumps. Oh my god! Wow. I didn't even read the letter yet. Hang on, let me read the letter. So this letter is from Meg, who pretty much relates to the situation where I had to leave teaching, not just for my dad, but also my own health. So Meg definitely understands because she had to leave her paramedics job because of her health as well, but is also looking forward to pursuing a new career. So good job, Meg. We're in this together. Many of us here who have autoimmune diseases, much like Sika as well, it does get in the way, but it's important to keep a positive mindset as much as possible. I know there are days where it's really hard, and it's okay to have those days. Just give yourself the time. Don't be hard on yourself. Take it easy. I'm looking at you. Don't. Okay? I love you, Grace. Okay, so <laughs> Meg also says Angel is best burb. I agree 100%. So I absolutely love Bulbasaur is one of my favorites. In addition to the, you know, the ones that don't always make the favorites like Magikarp and Psyduck. I love them so much. So here we have Bulbasaur. This is beautiful. The fact that you challenged yourself to do these and you were very intimidated at first, holy moly. Just even the gradient on the background and the grass, kudos to you. I could never do this. I should probably try. I'm really curious to know how long it took you to make this. And the fact that you embroidered this design, it is my first ever merch design. So this is really fun because I feel like many of you grains really loved that design and I feel bad because it is, well, was a limited edition and it's not coming back. I don't know, maybe I should get it out once a year on my YouTube anniversary. I'm not sure yet. We'll see about that. But I absolutely love these. So these are gonna go on my background. You'll see them in videos. You'll probably see them in videos before this one comes out. So thank you so much. These are really amazing. So thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me something. I really appreciate everything. You have no idea. I keep your letters in a box. I recycle obviously all the boxes as much as possible. And I keep your art either on my art wall over there or in my background when I can. Otherwise they kind of just invade my room because I love, I love your stuff. Remember to stay safe. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.